So Palp chose the battle to the field, makes sense. Docking Bay is not going to do much for him. Gets a 4 speed. Oh, Imperial Inspection. Yeah, no 4 speed. Imperial Inspection will have some effect. It'll slow down Palp essentially, but not not so slow it that it matters. Right. Uh, because he's just going to holocron into big stuff. Or rise again into big stuff. Or rise again into big stuff. Big stuff is, I think, the theme here. But he, you know, he can roll out. He could get that um, focus, which would help a lot. So kind of free control. We have a hold up blaster in play here. Rolls a blank, always sad for FN. Gets the disrupt. Oh, pops. Yep. Yeah. Get the focus, which is pretty big. A lot of crazy tokens on Franco's side. Yeah. So resolves the two shields. Good play. Yep. Takes a few royal guards in front of him. Yeah. Just just wrap one of those resources. Yeah, try to keep him off the uh, rise again as long as possible. Which I think it's a really really good idea. I think it's pretty key in this matchup. He goes down. He's got the time. Still two char characters rolling. Has a little places. Oh. Uh, goodbye, rejuvenate. It's good. It's good. Could have been a, probably would have been a reroll this turn if necessary. But Palpatine's not a big reroller. No. <laughs> Take what you get. Do your two damage and move on. Interesting. So he rolls in the Royal Guard, giving up his ability to Guardian the range damage if it comes up on the... See, he could have guard, got a Guardian dot. I, I mean, I can see you... you oh, he's holding the Boundless Ambition. I'm not sure that. Okay, so he's running the Confiscation. I wonder if he's running Prize Possession. Sometimes you see that. He is running both Prize Possession and Crime Lord. And Crime Lord. Oh, wow. Okay, so I think this does... Okay, I didn't know that. So I think it does favor the three-character deck. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, in one of the matches from last week's store championship, uh, he prized possession one of Palpatine's dice and then finished him off with Crumbling. So rude, harsh. It was, uh, yeah. I think he just could have damage. I think he just could have done the damage and finished him off that way, but he wanted to. Uh, so he takes Ankar over three shields. Uh, good play. Oh, he saw what was in his hand. Yeah, yeah, that makes total sense. He saw his hand once the holocron was gone in the four speed. Which uh, might have been a play to keep those in your hand. Just Mark, to Mark also goes very heavily on the uncard. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I mean, a counterplay could have been to hold those two zero cost cards. Yeah. To try to deny three resources from your opponent, which some, sometimes yeah, makes sense. Yeah, but you do want to be able to stay first player. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter, actually. No, no. In this particular case, it might have been okay. Because when he uncards, you claim. Overriding with an IQA. IQA and FN is always usually a disappointment on the roll in, but not that time. It's the, <laughs> it's the side he can use. Well, I mean, he can use most of the sides, right? So there's uh, only one side. There's only two that's sides. True. There's two sides that are bad. That's true. It's going to immediately be replaced by Flamethrower. We're seeing some Ankar dance here. I, I mean, FM dance. Oh, hot with the hot with the FM dice. That's four damage out of nowhere. Knucklers are coming in. This could be another three. Dice tower. No. Nope, nothing this time. Okay. Wow. Gets the... Lightsaber, blank. <laughs> Finally stops the ambushes. Well, this could be a problem here. Uh, oh, a boundless ambition. Sorry, it's the end of the turn. Sorry. Yes. So if he's not careful, like those, those, those are dis discard sides on uh, Palpatine can add up. They can. I agree. I think um, he's through ten cards, right? I mean, it's early. He can start playing conservatively. But I mean that the, he doesn't have. He's got one upgrade. Like yeah. he, he can't play that conservatively. He needs to get more damage. And he also he could also be just digging for the prize prize possession and uh, like it's a way of digging. Right? Yeah, you're right. But yes, yeah, so I do agree with you that keep piling on your cards like that. But yeah, eats the two this time. Nice move. So I mean, for so we're looking at um, two damage to five in total. Which is, you know, Palpatine needs a lot more because his life is half. <laughs> Slightly right. more than half. Uses the uh, special, uses both specials. So he has two actions now and a force push that he pays to roll in. It's crazy. Uh, oh, yeah. See, that, I think against FN, you take that. You take the discard. It's going to yeah. be damage. Yep, exactly. Take the discard. Yeah. 
There you go. Is it in like the top? Oh, oh that's one of the prizes actually. Okay, because he was sitting on four. Yep, that's huge. Wait. Does he have the other one in his hand though? Uh, no. Oh, no, I think that's a. F oh, he does have the other one in his hand. Well, that is. He's so that yes. is unfortunate. So at least he gets to keep one palp dice. <laughs> not, not, the, not the one he just rolled for three damage though. Yeah. Oh. Oh. This, this is the first round of the top eight, uh, Matt. So we'll have uh, a few more matches after this one. Right, and he wisely puts it on the 11 health character who hasn't taken any damage, who I'd imagine is going to become the target at this point. <laughs> yeah. But it's going to be tough. That loosen that dice, that, like this is round two, right? Yep. It's huge. It's a huge swing. That, I mean, Prime Possession and Crime Lord make this an on-car uh, helpful matchup. For sure. Uh, I think he needs a no mercy. I think he needs a no mercy and a damage side to really try to even this up. Yeah. But, you know, Ankar is still going to be just making super cash while he's trying to get rid of FN. Oh, oh hits the, wow. Two bucks, loses the no mercy. Which wasn't helpful this round, but definitely was key next round. So Mark, who's, who's been playing this three store champions worth, I think, ships worth. I, yeah, I don't know what he played uh, at X Planet, but he was playing. I don't know if it was exactly the same, but pretty close Very to the last week. Yeah, and he X Planet, I think, is this one too. He, um, well, you can see the power of FN's ability. I mean, he's he's rightful to go hard on it. He's he's gotten nine. Nine uh, <laughs> resources worth of upgrades. Looks like he's got a force illusion and a force lightning, so so he's got some damage he's mitigation. He's significantly ahead of even holocron shenanigans for resources. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, that's a good roll. Wait, I'm sure he, he must. Is he any mitigation stand? No, I see a boundless, a fibro knife, and friends in low places, and one other card I can't tell. So that three might go through. Are they doing best of one or best of three? Yeah, best of one. Okay, I just was confirming we're doing best of one for the top cut. That's what the basic structure does suggest. We did add an extra round of the top cut just so that we wouldn't have the f some four and ones that wouldn't make it, which happened last week and was, was pretty frustrating to some players who lost out and had real no con no, like, no control of their destiny. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing happened this week for some three and twos, but they can control their destiny by that oh, fourth win. So the Holocron's been doing has been the bright spot so far for oh. for uh, so he has no blank to remove, so he probably he might wait. He should probably wait for the roll, but he can resolve. He can resolve. Wow, both of those specials. He should just wait because he's gonna use them for control. And he's got all the time in the world. Wow. So Holocron has been the bright spot for Palpatine for sure. That's gonna be how he does damage. Plays high ground. Gets points of damage off on the. So what is Ron? What high ground does again? It uh, removes a damage uh, damage die, either ranged or melee, and does one damage to the character if it's a character dice. Okay. But you have to be control the battlefield, which I'm pretty which sure we'll Palpatine see is gonna <laughs> have for the entire game. Pretty close. One die Palpatine. He's not even elite Palpatine. Is he the Emperor still? Or is he just like a Duke at yeah. best? Well, I don't know. Force lightning, force push. I think he's just still looking. Pretty I bet you he's uh, breathing pretty, pretty. A uh, little bit of a sigh of relief that he has the other prize possession in the discard. Not, not waiting to come. Yeah. <laughs> the question oh, is, su really good roll on FN. Expensive, but five damage. Yeah, he can blank both sides. Well, that's a, that, okay. This is the awesome combo. He can blank a side, and then with the other special. <laughs> to re-roll the force lightning and do a damage. So I, I think we had 25 people in the tournament today? Yes. No, 24. Somebody thought it registered but didn't come. Okay. We actually had a lot of pre-registration today, face-to-face. -face. Uh, had a really good deal. The entry to the tournament was free. They are also putting $10 in the prize pool for every player that registered. So I think there's, a, in addition to the store championship kit, there's also a box of... Um, a box of Spirit of the Rebellion up for grabs. So, thank you to Face to Face for being so generous and hosting the tournament. Um, they do offer singles, uh, Saga sets, boxes online at their eBay store as well as through their website. So, you can check them out. I believe it's face to face games.com uh, if you want to learn more. So, Palpatine just did a really powerful play of the. Uh, 
removing, blanking two dices, removing one, do a damage to kill the roll guard, and then uh, re-rolled it into two damage. Now, Unkar countered with his big pile of cash to uh, pop the um, the Force Lightning back to his hand to save the two. Now, there's still Holocron in play, so it's not as painful as it could be against a non-Holocron no. packing deck. That might just, probably just going to come back for zero. Well, their question is like, uh, I, I don't Unkar know. Unkar gets the claim. Interesting. Yeah. I guess with no dice. And um, he must have passed. I think. Oh, oh no, he played Holocron after the. Yeah, I don't know. There's also the Force Illusion in um, Franco's hand mm -hmm. that he may want to consider at some point here. Right. Yeah, he might try to. He's, I mean, he's not that much trouble. So he might try to Holocron a bit and then uh, overwrite the Force Speed. Force Speed's not right. that necessary. Sorry, yeah, I got distracted talking about face-to-face -face and the uh, number of people in the tournament, and I didn't even notice we're all there by the desk. Huh. FN does not need money, or F FN Malkar. How's he going to pay for his crime lord if he doesn't get more money? So, he doesn't re-roll the... <laughs> yes, that's true. He doesn't re-roll the um, Rai Control Bachong, which surprises me a little bit, since he had the option to go for some damage. Yeah. Chooses... Interesting. Chooses to... Uh, Chooses to money up. Yeah, maybe he does have that. Uh, well, I mean, he also has the potential to claim, which I don't, don't know if it helps him that much, but he could. That's a two damage swing. It's another Holocron special. It's Holocron special every round. He's had it out. Impressive. So, re rates of Iron Knife with another one. I, he doesn't have a lot of cards left. But he gets a he doesn't like you, which is a hard play. Okay, he's sick of the Holocron specials. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, he really doesn't, eh? Was that five in his stack? That's huge. I, like, that Boundless is not... Maybe not the best No, I would be a mistake to play that. He's got the, the upgrades now to just There's do one damage on Palpatine right now. Yeah. So, I am... Well, so in those four cards is going to be that Crime Lord. Yeah, that's true. If he can get enough resources. Yeah. It's interesting, yes. Is that his out right now? I think it might be, because there's just no be, damage yeah. on Palpatine. There's one damage on Palpatine. So he needs nine resources to pull that off. So spending for the Holo Buster, I can see it. Maybe he's trying to attract attention. <laughs> so, use the Imperial Session to bounce the four speed. Yeah. I would think an Ankar ability is coming here. Oh, he's spending to get the four out of hand. It is fair. Yeah, that makes sense. Because now he's probably got a hand of zeros. Uh, ones and zeros. Okay, gets the four speed. Which he, doesn't he, he doesn't care about the four speed anymore yeah. anyways. He is kitted up. And he's also... It's, so this game swung pretty hard. Yeah, I mean, we'll see how the... Because the money situation is not really there for the Crime Lord yet. Um, and Palpatine is capable does not of a have lot it. of damage at this point. <laughs> Like he, you know, with a couple rerolls, he could be doing 10 damage to these two characters. Hey, not a special. And we're through. Interesting. Price of failure in the Unkar. I guess if you want to just do it on FN when he's fully loaded. Um, yeah. Okay, yep. He does what. No, you do, you do it on the Guardian before he's going to bite it. Well, so I mean, to, un, to um, ready FN. Yeah, for sure. Rerolls. Overwrites with a redeploy. Good. Oh yeah. See the control baton do that a lot. Oh no mercy. Ooh. So he's six damage. Six damage. Take FN up to eight. And then he's gonna have to deal another two to someone. Yeah. And oh, to Ankar. I guess he's because he's not afraid. He's not afraid of getting killed. He's afraid yeah. of getting crime lord. Yeah. Fair enough. That's true. And yeah, that's one more damage he can do from the special. So he's got at least one more damage on board. Plus, it's just a bad spot when well, it's no, it's got uh, one more damage in a reroll. Unless yes. he gets that reroll. He's got to get baton. rid of that. Yep. Good point. He should really reroll re that baton. It seems weird, especially when you're low on cards. Yeah. So he does. Nope. Oh, yeah. yeah. Get another thing to do. Oh. Blanket? Well, you can always blanket and <laughs> do the damage. No, but no. Whoa, he could do both. Yeah, he didn't want to. I don't know why. No, no. He, I don't think he realized. I don't think he thought he, he didn't about doing both. Although he did the play earlier. Yeah. So he does one more damage to Ankar. I mean, they're both going very quickly. That, but he, he gets that way when he gets as close. Yeah. Yeah. There's no damage on Palpatine, <laughs> which is surprising with that huge upgrades. Like. Yeah. So he's got a total of nine uh, life. Yeah, uh, he's got to leave that dice. Like, we'll go let them know about that dice in the pool if it does prove to be an issue. I don't think it'll matter in this match, but that the holocron dice should stay in the pool. Yeah. 
Oh, he's going to go for some damage here. No, he's rerolling. Oh, he's running out. That's what I mean. To re -roll. But he's running low on cards. This will be all his cards. Whoa. I don't know about this move. Yeah. Well, there's the Crime Lord. There's one of Crime Lord. Yeah. Got to roll in here on cards and see what happens. Yeah. I mean, he can play the Crime Lord. he wants to roll in the Crime Lord. Yep. He can roll in the Crime Lord. But Ankar is so close to dying. Yeah. Uh, and I don't... Yes, he could roll in Ankar. He could Ankar something for a lot of money and get the Crime Lord special. Right? He has no cards in his hand. Franco has no cards. Oh, Franco has no cards. Okay, then that's not possible. What can he do? He can Crime Lord for money. And try to pull it off next turn. Oh no, the Crime Lord got the focus. He can Uncar for money. He can get $3 off so the focus. Yeah, he sent the, sent the Holocron back. Mm -hmm. Sorry, how can he? He focuses Uncar to plus two and the, and the Hold Up Blaster to one money. But that. It just gives him money for next turn, right? Yeah. Because it's, it's, not, it's not happening this turn. Yeah. Yeah, then he gets three. It doesn't feel like Ankar is going to survive, though. He can have two shields on Ankar. He might. I mean, he's, he's running out of options, right? So he can have three shields on Ankar, but, but it, it, even then, it's going to be hard for him to survive even to the end of that round. Well, he doesn't survive to the end. He has to roll in. No, he has he'll to have five dollars. Crime Lord doesn't apply until after the end oh, of the round. Oh, you're right. So if he dies. Or if he mills out, yeah. both of those conditions apply before yep. a crime lawyer would No, I, I agree with you. Palpatine's in control here, for sure. I'm just saying there is a chance of uh, some really bad rolls <laughs> on Palpatine's. And Palpatine can have four re-rolls. So he wants to get out there. Oh. <laughs> okay, there's four right. damage. That's a dead Ankar, unless you can control it. And I don't know if there is a... Oh, no, he can take a shield. He can survive. Take a shield. How did he get two shields? Oh, because he took a shield. Yeah, took a shield. Oh, he can get it. He doesn't like you. He just has to replace a weapon. But, boy, he's... Oof, get Palp back his dice. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But his cards are, yeah, one, one Palp mill, right? Sorry, what did he... He ambushed. Oh, he got... No, he put the... Pr yeah, he, okay. over the he overwrite the prize possession because that die doesn't matter anymore. Just so he can... Just so he can, he doesn't like you. Very nice play. Very heads up play. Because he, because the, it's the only, it's a weapon that would give you the, does give you more damage too. Uh, he, he's missing the dice. I don't know where he put it. But Which does, dice? Probably won't matter this round. Which dice? Uh, the vibe will not close dice. He, he doesn't like you, but he didn't put it back on. Ankar will live. Crime Lord still triggers if Ankar is defeated, but if both characters are defeated, or he has no cards, or so Moonman is pointing out the fact, yeah. Ankar dying isn't enough to prevent Crime Lord, but if both characters are dead, yeah. the game is over at that point. Or he's out If he has no cards left, that happens before the Crime Lord would play. Yeah, so he cannot both play that Both of those card. things are real possibilities. Not anymore with the mitigation of the dice, but... No. He can't, he can't roll now. It's, it's silver. There's no focuses, and he... Right. He does. Yeah. Making desperation one re. Oh no, he can't. Yeah, he's done. No, he cannot crime lord. He can only lose. And he can't do 15 damage. You're right. Yep. That was a good game. Very interesting. Palpatine takes it in the end. Crime lord was near the bottom. Third, third from the bottom or something. He didn't have the money to use the crime lord earlier, so yeah. you're right. I mean, to hard play crime lord, not ace in the hole. I don't know if Ankar could even, because you're fielding FN at the same time. It's it's yeah. a tough go. I just think he worked through his deck way too quickly. He took away yeah. his options. Yeah, because he ended up with zero damage on Palp, yeah. right? I, like how they I mean, he can always he can always just try to live. use the three to disrupt. I mean, he can get rerolls next round. He's not going to die. So he can go for another round, right? He yes. can just stay in the game. Yeah. Just never re-roll. Just <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get the heal. He's gonna take claim the battlefield. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know about that because you could have you could have done the same thing with hunk with uh, hunker down, and you could have rolled an FN. And Palpatine claiming does not. Yeah, he had him. to roll FN. I don't know what. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was, was an interesting play. Like I think he just. Oh, he want no. He wants to roll first. But if Palpatine has any control cards, it just stretches it out. Why does rolling first help him? 
Um, so he doesn't die. Oh, so you mean just just the desperation get the crime load out and somehow hope that yep. he doesn't yeah. get milled or it hasn't hit the discard sides in the last and couple of pounds. It's not. But and Kreimler just keeps getting disrupted. And well, obviously he has no control, so he, he's got to take the shield. If he doesn't take the shield. Well, he's still going to die from the force lightning. Yeah, well, it's one more action. You yeah, one more action. I don't know what he does with this. <laughs> I don't know what he does with either. <laughs> yeah, Ernest. There were 25, 24 players that showed up for the tournament today. I think they're starting to get. Between it being uh, the Father's Day weekend and the fact that it's the third or fourth in the last couple of weeks, means the turnout's a little lower this week. So you got to take a shield. Roll an FN. Oh, you still can't get another shield. FN has one shield side. So, <laughs> yeah. I, you can claim and hopefully he rolls no other damage. No, no, that's still still four damage. No, it's just nothing. <laughs> Alright. So you have fatal push. That's now um, six more damage between the two characters. So that Franco needs to do. Yeah, and what does he do here? I, he might as well disrupt. I mean, as a Hail Mary, like, don't. I, I'm not going to let you get off a rise again. <laughs> kind of thing. Like, because doing the car ability is. There's no point. He doesn't need any more money. Well, the other thing he's going to ask himself is is he really going to finish it off? Oh, I think he was. Oh, he threw all the dice, too. Yeah. I think he was just maybe oh. the fail damage. Oh, okay. Well, now he's done. It's all his cards, so unless he can kill this turn. Uh, let's see. Kenny. Uh, he's done three. He needs to. Do Palpatine can claim, so he needs to do uh, 13 more damage. He needs 10. He could. No, no not with Uncar no. Dead. He can't. No, with Uncar Dead, because he loses plus two. Yeah, he can do 12 with Uncar Dead. And he can't, doesn't want to overwrite. Yeah. I don't. It's, it's 4, 3, 3, 10, 12. He can do 12. Yeah, that's Which why, would be amazing. why it was one short, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's one short. Well, and an amazing roll. Like the most amazing roll of all time. Re-roll some of them. <laughs> but he has no cards. No, well, they're, they're, well, that's not even big enough. Yeah, you got to re-roll. You, you have to re-roll the two. Okay. I guess get it damaged, right? I mean, that's what ten. It's still not bad. No, it's not ten. It's uh, eight. It's seven. Eight. Oh, eight, eight, eight. And he did three with you know. So to go from zero to eleven is pretty good. <laughs> a turn he just needed it a lot earlier. <laughs> I don't know that he needed to worry about killing Unker yet. I think he might have. And I guess there ended up being no blank, so it didn't, wouldn't have helped. Yeah. Uh, but he could have uh, used his Force Lightning. Oh, he's even got a that Force and that Force Push special. Yeah. It's just been doing work. It has been doing. Work. Actually, even the God Roll wouldn't That's, work. He should have saved the uh, Force Lightning because there was nothing bad, nothing really that yeah. Unker could do. And the Force, so, yeah, the Force Push stopped, put it out of reach. Okay, that was a fun match.